Hey guys, so welcome to the uh, first of our uh, Skillshare uh, classes on adding tables to Shopify. So given this is the first one, I'll just explain a few things along the way. So what we're going to work on today is uh, this uh, site. It's a sample site that I've been put together. It's not actually in ex real existence. Um, but what we're going to look at today is the product page and we're going to look at putting tables in it. So let's look at the finished product. If I look at this uh, product and, you know, one of the things that's worth mentioning here is that content is king. You'll hear me say that a lot. So how you present this stuff and how you put it out there, it, you know, it doesn't matter how nice your template is or whatever. It, what matters is how well you put it together. So we're going to look at, in this particular, we're selling raw bean, raw green beans coffee uh, by various weights um, and based on... Uh, that they need to understand a little bit about the coffee types. So coffee, um, if you don't know anything about green beans, that's totally understandable. Um, but coffee, green beans are go through a cupping process. And when they've gone through a cupping process, they're given all these various scores out of 10. Okay, And for people who buy coffee, it's critically important that they understand um, where, where this coffee fits in on sort of defects uh, from flavor, acidity, aroma, what the, you know, all this sort of stuff. So we needed to build out this table to present that information nicely. Now, there are lots of ways to do this. You can go into the App Store and find numerous apps that will charge you by the month to enable you to build out uh, nice tables in Shopify. There's also, if we go back to uh, the product, go into the product here. There's also, you know, obviously you can put a basic table in there just through this insert table, but it's going to be pretty basic. Okay, so I wanted to do this and I wanted, didn't want to pay any money for it. I didn't want to pay um, monthly fees for apps. I really strongly believe in trying to avoid using too many apps. There are going to be times when you have to use apps. This is one of those times where you do not have to use an app. So what I did, I went off. I, I wanted to put it in in code. So I basically wanted to code this table. And if we look at the code, if you on, on each product, you'll see this uh, button here, which says the show HTML. Okay, so let's click into that. And you'll start to see here, this code here all relates to that table. So it's written in HTML. And I'll go back to the top here in a minute. It's written in HTML. And it's also written in CSS, a cascading style sheet language. Okay, and you can see the various things like the font size here, the padding here, the body. So, you know, there's two ways to do this. We could learn to write all this code ourselves. Well, wow, that'd be tough, wouldn't it? Who wants to do that, right? Font color, font background. You know, this is the uh, header, basically the header row. We don't want to do that. So how can we do this without doing that, without buying an app? Okay, so I found a website, and it's basically tablesgenerator.com. And for absolutely free here, we can create tables. And when we create tables, we can then generate all the code we need to put into our, so let's click generate here. Okay, and now we've got, we're gonna have all the code that we need in order to make the table. That's actually written in, uh, we want this in uh, HTML, not uh, the text tables, we want it in HTML. So here's the code. We want it for HTML, which is your hypertext markup language, which includes the uh, CSS part of it. So I've made the table here, and making the table is straightforward enough. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But once I've made the table, then I can simply copy all this code, and I can do that with one click of a button, copy to clipboard, and I can go over to my product here, and you can see here where I've just pasted that code straight in. And if I want to edit that code, I can either go back to my the website tablesgenerator.com which does hold this table it stores it for future use it uh, doesn't just get rid of it for me or i can edit the code itself directly it's pretty um easy to see how it works each one of these is a row so if i wanted to make another row i could simply copy this paste it below and change the content okay so let's quickly see how to make a table on this website file new table 
telling how many rows, how many columns. So I'm going to do a, I don't know, two by three, just a real quick, simple one here. Create, then it gives it here. And then I can basically block off, uh, I can color things. So I can make it a bright red header. Um, oh, that's the font, sorry. That's going to be the background, bright red. Let's take the font back to white. Now I can start typing uh, values in here. If I generate that, you'll see it's got no values at all. Okay. So if I come up here and now I want to just start typing in here, um, header one. And if I don't like that font, I can obviously change that font to whatever I want. And then I can put in here header two. And then I can start typing my data, my answers, basically, data one, data two, etc. Okay, and once I've got this, I click generate, and you can see it puts that straight into here with the appropriate colors and everything else. And this is just ready to copy and paste into your product, into your product here through this button here, um, which then, when that's saved, it's going to make us a great, uh, you know, presentation on the product page. Okay, so that's how I would sort of hack my way around this and save myself any app fees and create a product table in a pro a table in a product or a page or any other area of Shopify content that I want without using apps, um, without. Um, paying monthly fees and without understanding how to code it. I think the result looks great. Um, hope you do too.